Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to go over the jailbreak for the iOS 5 beta firmwares, some more information about the beta firmwares and who should be on them, as well as some overall information about the iOS 5 beta firmwares. Now to start off, you can jailbreak any of the iOS 5 beta firmwares. This includes iOS 5 beta 1, beta 2, and so on. With the method I showed you guys beforehand, and I actually demoed that on iOS 5 beta 1, however, it will still work with any of the the beta firmwares. Now Muscle Nerd has confirmed this and it works because Apple doesn't want to spend the time at patching the beta firmwares because they're not intended for public use. So they just wait until the final version is released and then they patch the exploit that was used. However, because Red Snow currently takes advantage of the Lime Rain exploit, they won't be able to patch it anyway for the devices that it works on currently because that deals with the hardware that was used in the devices. And there wasn't actually a user land exploit that was used in the newest beta version of red snow to actually get you that untethered jailbreak on the iOS 5 beta firmwares. Now with that being said, I just wanted to stress that you should not be on any of the iOS 5 beta firmwares and jailbreak unless you plan on actually developing jailbreak applications, tweaks, or modifications for iDevices because the beta firmware is already buggy by itself, but when you throw in a jailbreak on top of it with practically everything broken for it, there's really no reason to be on it because again, hardly anything will work. Things will crash unexpectedly and it just won't be very pleasant for day-to-day -day use. So if you must be on the iOS 5 beta firmwares, I highly recommend that you do not jailbreak again unless you are specifically doing it to develop jailbreak applications, tweaks, or modifications. I I just wanted to go over some of the steps of how to actually do this. And again, this will work for future beta firmwares as well. What you're going to do is simply visit the site that's down below in the more info, and that will have written instructions. And the site will have a download link for Red Snow, but it won't have a download link for the firmware. And that's because you can get the firmware from Apple if you're a registered developer, or you can get it from the person who actually has your device registered on their account. So once you have the beta firmware that you want to jail, break on and the latest beta version of Red Snow you will also need to download iOS 5 beta 1. Now this is because the dev team doesn't want to actually update Red Snow to recognize newer beta firmwares so it won't actually recognize the newer beta firmwares if you point Red Snow at them. So you will have to point it at iOS 5 beta 1. So once you have all three of those things downloaded you will have to plug in your device to your computer, run Red Snow, point it at iOS 5 beta 1, set your device into DFU mode, and then continue from there. And then you should be good to go. Once it has rebooted, you will have to turn it off and then run it again as just boot tethered now. And again, every single time you need to power off your device or it shuts down, you will have to plug it into your computer and run it as just boot tethered now and then point it at the iOS 5 beta 1 firmware. Now this is because the dev team does not want to waste an untethered exploit on beta firmwares that Apple will just patch in the final release. So that's how you do it. It's really simple and really easy. And if you need a video tutorial that walks you through it, you can check out the link that I have down below in the more info. Just keep in mind that you will have to point it at iOS 5 beta 1 and not the beta firmware that you are currently on. With that being said, I really don't recommend this for anybody that is a jailbreak developer. But I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to rate it up if you did and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.